Okay, so image on backplate, physical render. Another one. So let's go. Uh, I'm above the grid. I'm not below the grid. I'm above the, above the grid. Let's first start by making a camera. Click on our camera. We have a camera right here. Right click. We're going to go to tracker tags, cam camera calibrator, right? Now we're going to select the tag. We're going to go over here to image. Click on image. Click on the three dots. Now we need to find our image. I have some over here. So I'm going to use this image, all right? What I'm going to do now is click on full image. Then I'm going to go to calibrate and I'm going to go to add grid. And now that I'm going to add grid, this has a lot of vanishing point lines on it. So this should, shouldn't be that hard to, uh, to do. So I'll place this right here, right on this little crack. Oh, I'll take this one right here. I'll place this one along this one right here. Cool. Now you see this line right here. So I'll take this and I'll place it. I'll go to this one right here and it should slide around along that edge pretty nicely. Perfect. And I'll take this one and I'll look at this edge over here as well. And I'll just move this out. And you can just get it right here, right? So cool, we have this and um, no, I think it's actually a little bit further. Am I crazy? No, I'll keep it here. Perfectionist in me. All right, so we have this, cool, everything's perfect. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is hold down shift and click on one of these edges, shift, click on that edge, hold down shift, click on the opposite edge, then I hold down shift and click on that edge one more time. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get inside of my camera. So I'm gonna go over here to this, click on that. So now I'm inside of my camera and I'm gonna click on create background object, all right. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna lock my camera, right click, ring tags, protection. It's locked, right? Now I'm going to um, get out of my camera, middle mouse button click, now I'm over here. Now look at how my camera's above the grid. That's the way it should be, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in, uh, I guess my car. So I'm gonna go to merge objects, and let me see if I can find this Lambo model. Here it is. Okay, so it's in here. If I middle mouse button click, uh, there goes my model. But if I press T to scale and just click and drag, I should be able to make it a little bit larger. Okay, there it is. Now what I like to do is I'll press uh, E to move and I'll place it right in front of the camera, like right here, middle mouse button click. I'll go over to this view right here. You see this little stick right here? That's exactly where I want it to be in front of. I'll go over to this side, middle mouse button, and right here. Oh, now I'm in this view, so we see what we see. So I'll pull this right here, let's say, push it right here, maybe T to scale a little bit. So now we have a car and wherever we place our car, it should look correct. So we have our floor plane and we have our car. So if I was to go to render it right now, this is what it looks like. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my floor plane. I will, floor plane has a shader on it. I don't think that's right. So click on this, I'll delete the shader. And I will um, control click and I'll drag this background tag onto here. So we press play, see what it looks like now. 
and I will right click on the floor. I'll go to render tags, compositing. And in compositing, I'm gonna click on compositing background. And press play. And there we go, our car is sitting right there on top of it. Now for our car, um, I guess it already has some shaders on it. I'll just think about this one right here. So car body, if I click on this and open this up, car body is, yes, yeah, this one. So just because I just wanna change this up, um, just have it look a little different. All right, cool. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to physical render. Well, yeah, I'll just go to these settings first, just to set them up. So let's go to physical and I'll go to ambient occlusion and global illumination. We'll hit another play. Probably shouldn't be able to see anything because there's no uh, lights in there. See a little something though. So let me collapse this. I'll get out of my camera. I'll turn off my background object like this. So we can just see our car, press S to see everything. Now I will uh, create a light. So I'll go not here, I'll go to this one, go to area light. And now we have our area light. Now, if I shine it this way, we can see this is uh, the direction it's shining in. So let's turn it like this. Cool. So it's just right on top. Let's uh, get inside of our camera, turn on our background and see what this looks like. All right, there's some shadows there. It's a little bit of shadows there, but it also works in conjunction with the car paint too. I wish there was an IPR. Is there an IPR? I don't think there's an IPR. Thinking about other programs a bit too much. So we have this right here. Let's just put this here so I can get some fast feedback on this. Now we can make our own like fake HDRI or we can go to Polyhaven and get uh, a sunset. You know, let's try that. Let's try it. Let, let's try both ways, right? So I'll double click right here. Let's double click on this. Let's make this HDRI. And for this HDRI, we're gonna go to Luminance and we'll go to this and we'll go to bitmaps and we'll use this one. So this is the bitmap that we used or, you know, the background. And we're just going to use this. Let me turn this off. Can I turn this off? Yeah. All right. So um, we're using this. And then let's make ourselves a sky dome. So we have a sky dome right here. Sky dome. I'm in the sky dome regular just because we know it's there. And if we really want to see everything, we can just double click on this, um, go to viewport. And then go to default and go to one zero no two zero four eight. We actually go to four zero nine six. Okay, it's not that big. Two zero four eight. And then we could click on this, go to coordinates, and then rotate this to find that that area, that hot spot over here, I guess. Like I said, this is a little bit of a a janky way of doing it. But we could also fake it with our own HDRI, which is what I'm gonna do. So let's press play. Now we can see everything because it just needs a compositing tag. So we right click on this, um, render tags, compositing tag, go to compositing tag and click off of scene by camera. So we can't see it by the camera. I mean, see it from the camera, see that background. Okay, it's, it's all right. Actually, I gotta do this just cause it's bothering me. I'll go to remove, add GGX and just go to this just because I like my car paint, paint to be, you know, reflective. So let's, um, go 
little bit more effective. So let's get ourselves a, another HDRI. So let's click on this. Let's go to HDRI, HDRI Haven, go to HDRIs, and let's go over here to Sunrise Sunset. And let's choose one with some nice ground uh, shadows. Because remember, it looks like a sunset type of scene, sunset type of scene. Um, Yeah, I'll download this one. That one looks like a good one too. But the closer you can get it, the better. Remember, it had a warm orange, orange looking glow. See, I think that one that I was looking at a second ago. Yeah, this one might be nice. Thank you, Andreas Michel. All right, it's in there downloading, cool. So now, since I have the sky regular, um, I just can't disable it. Yeah, maybe I just could disable it there. Um, so now I'll just bring this in. Um, I'll just name it EXR, just name it that. And I'll go to my luminance, I'll click on this and let me find my new HDRI and I'll click on a sky dome and I'll have this one be here. I'll double click on this and I'll go to viewport 2048. Now look, that's where the, the hot spot is coming from. So we'll put it over here, just like in the real photo. So we'll have it there. And I'll do the same thing. I'll move this tag, control click. So I just move the compositing tag over there. Um, this one's off. So let's see what we're looking at. Okay, see, we have more of a shadow. It's shining over there. I wish we had more stuff in the photo to see which way it should be really hitting. But yeah, but because it's doing that, if I go over here to this compositing tag, click on scene by camera. And now if I were to click on the sky dome and rotate it, say a little bit more over here, we're going to get another look. That shadow is going to be over in this area. Something else I want to see. All right, and if I click on this right here, see my camera. Here we go. So now let's click on this floor plane, T to scale, scale it out.
There you go. And then you should be able to move this car wherever you like. Actually, the size, I feel like it's a little bit small still. And look, I'm going to go into this view right here and make sure that it's on the ground. It could be sunk into it a little bit. You don't want it to look ridiculous. And then we got the, the lighting, the reflections from the HDRI, it's all shining over here. And if we want to, we can, of course, go in here. Well, let me disable this light, see what it looks like without that light. See that light, that last light that I had was contributing to all that. And now that I took it away, now look what we're getting. But the artist in me knows something else is wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'll go in here. Let me turn off this background. And I'll take this light. So it's shining that way. I want it to be like over here, sort of. Yeah. About right there, let's say. Let's enable it inside of our camera. And so all this is is just going back and um, so I'll put it on 60 and toning it down because I just want a little bit of light on the front. I mean, on this other side, just a little bit. So that's with only HDRI. This is with only this. And if you want to, you can go here and just delete that. If you want to go back and forth and look at it like this. And so all I'm going to do now is basically turn this down until it's very subtle. And that's all the lighting is. And if this right here, let's say this is way too bright, then all I have to do is go into this shader, this EXR one, and then go to luminance and go here, and, I don't know, put in like 82 or something, and then do a render there. Because it doesn't need to be like 100 all the time. Not that difference, much difference between the two. Let me do uh, this. So I took it to 100, to 82, to 69. Let's see. Yeah, see? So this is with 69% uh, percent brightness versus uh, 82. So you see turning it down a little bit can help. And then over here as well. So you can always zoom in and kind of like look at it and say, oh, okay, what's it doing? So we see in the side, this wheel well, how we're seeing more details with this one, a little bit less with this one, but actually maybe less details could look a little bit better in this situation. Yeah, and so this is how you would integrate a photo. Well, actually, let me do it one more time just to do it, 53. a photo into um, a backplate using the physical render. Yeah, I actually like a little bit more. But like I said, these are subtle differences, but they matter. And then I'll also just rotate it just a little bit. Just the slightest bit. See my camera, click on sky coordinates. Let's turn it this way. Compositing, unseen. This. Yes. 
All right, so that angle is a little bit too harsh. So then you know what I do, I go backwards or I turn that down. So that's all it's about. It's about placing the light and going back and forth and adjusting the intensity and maybe moving a light a certain area. But it's also about having the light matching your scene. This right here, it has nothing. Like let's say I had one of those binocular things and it showed which way the shadow was, was, uh, was um, being cast, then I would know exactly how to make this move. I mean, you know, exactly where to place this. So, you know, but either one could work, just depends on how much intensity you want to make and, and uh, turning this down. This reflection is really nice though. See how it goes, it goes up and down like that. As opposed to this one, this reflection isn't as nice. So we also look at things like that. But that's it, that's how you integrate a photo and I mean an object into a photo in Cinema 4D.